When you think of the world's greatest castles and palaces and grand historic homes, are you thinking black homes? Well, if not, you should be. Let's visit five grand historic homes that are, as I like to call it, Afro Aristo. First up has to be Fasilides Castle. When I first saw this castle, I could not believe we were in East Africa, Ethiopia to be precise, and not in medieval Europe. Built in the 17th century, it served as home for Ethiopian royalty for over 200 years. Next up, this exquisite chateau in the south of France, owned by entertainer, US civil rights activist, World War II spy, let's keep it simple, one of the most exceptional people of the 20th century, Josephine Baker. Josephine Baker bought Chateau Milan in the 1940s as home for her rainbow tribe of 12 children she adopted of different nationalities. Next, we have grand historic homes so exquisite they are called gingerbread houses because they look like they sprung out of a fairy tale. These houses of 100% Afro Aristo built for us by us by Haitian architects for Haitian wealthy and powerful individuals at the end of the 19th century. Next up, we have Devon House, home of George Stiebel, Jamaica's first black millionaire. I remember this house made a lasting impression on me when I visited. I remember how beautiful it was to see black art on the walls of a stately home. Let's go out with a black owned palace because that's how we roll. The Emir's Palace in Kano, Nigeria. Built in the 15th century, it is an outstanding example of traditional house architecture. So there you have it, five Afro Aristo homes. Take that, Bridgerton.